not just from the outside looking in, but being on the inside. I do have it all. We just built this house. I have a beautiful fiance who's pregnant with our first son. I have a six year old who idolizes me and she always sends me messages when I leave at night. I love you daddy, you're the best daddy in the whole wide world. And a lot of people would do anything to have the family that I have. And then I'm sitting here using drugs, and throwing it all away. And I probably won't be here much longer. Well, Mike does have it all, he could have it all, but Ashley says he's throwing it all away on his quest for drugs. I'm not addicted just to the drugs, I'm addicted to the lifestyle. And the pill game is a constant hustle just as it would be with the cocaine, heroin. If I didn't do any of my pills, I get 112, sell 100. At 30, that's three grand. And then I used to sponsor people too. So I would take this girl to her doctor, pay for her doctor, pay for her script, and then I would get her script in return. So she would make about 1,100 bucks, pay for her doctor and her script to get out, which is like another 300. So out of 1,400 bucks, I would get her whole script. So I would double my money, if not more. So you do that with two, three, four people a month, almost eight grand from them. And then also, it's people will call me, you know, they want a 10 pack of pills. I got someone calling me while we were waiting for the heroin dealer. Someone needs some subs. So I'll charge like 50, 100 bucks more and get a couple for free. Plus they'll break me off for doing it. So I'll make like four or five pills out of it. Street price is like 150 bucks. Now I gotta go bring these to the guy who bought them. You have to dedicate almost your whole day to doing that. It's a full-time job and it's hard to sell your DOC, your drug of choice, and not do it. My Dilaudid honestly feels better than sex. What's your thought? I'm angry. So your daughter's good father is a confessed and, in fact, braggadocious drug dealer. You're not just a user, you're not just an addict, he's a dealer. Confessed drug dealer. It's hard to hear. It's hard to hear, it's hard to see. I've never seen him use. You have now. I have now, yeah. He said, and I quote, I don't believe in spending money on a wedding until we get ourselves together and the drugs are being put first right now. I lie to Ashley, but I think it's better than me saying I'm going to get high. I'll be clean when I have a newborn, so I'll be a better father. He's just just gonna flip a switch. My daughter never knows when I'm using because I'm not using to get high, I'm using to function. I think my daughter would describe me as the best daddy in the world, she tells me every day. She uh, loves you. She does. Yeah, well, she can speak glowingly at his funeral when he overdoses. You're right. What am I gonna have to tell our daughter when you're gone? A son that will never meet you or know the good Mike. <laughs> but it's fun, right? You run these drugs and yeah, you get this person to get a script, figure out, and get $8,000 here and there. Yeah. It's all a big game yeah. until yeah. it's not. Coming up, Mike says that he can't stay clean. He tells us what triggers him to go back to a life of drugs. We're gonna meet another uh, individual here in a minute. He's a former opioid addict. He's now 12 years sober. He says if he can do it, so can Mike. 